Yes. Let's give it up for Maceo. Round of applause for him, folks. All right, here we go. Give it up for the Asian dude. That's right. <laughs> Give me another mic, because I ain't trust all that coughing and sneezing and shit on the other microphone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's that sorry shit, man. I, was, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how Asian people are affected by the SARS virus here in America, but I know for black people, we are having a time of our fucking lives and shit. Black people's stock has risen in America. I mean, first 9-11 with Arab people, now SARS with Asian people, shit. Why are you glad to see a nigga walk through the door today? I was, <laughs> every building I pass by, I say, nigga, you got the job. I was like, I got the job, man. It's a Chinese restaurant. Like, nigga, just put on an apron to get in the kitchen. We ain't got no time for all that bullshit. I'm serious, man. You know, this is that black people, we can't get a false sense of security, you know, because eventually white people, you're going to blame it on us. You know, always. White people, you always blame diseases on us. Anything that eventually affects white people, you blame on black people. No, AIDS, SARS, Eminem, all that shit. <laughs> How'd y'all come up with SARS anyway? Man, you ask a white dude, like, hey, what's SARS? Like, Some Asian respiratory something. I don't know. I think it's messed up to blame a disease on a whole race of people. You know what I'm saying? That's messed up to blame a whole disease, a race of people. That's, that's nuts. I mean, because when white people catch an unknown disease, they blame it on that dude who got it. You know, white dude walk into a doctor's office like, uh, Doc, I got the shits, man. I'm achy all over. He's like, well, Lou Garrett, I guess you got Lou Garrett's disease. I'm like, I don't bring that shit over here. No. Only white folks can find nobility in naming themselves after the disease. You know, black people, you know, we don't want no shit like that. Y'all can keep that. You know, I don't ever want to walk out of a doctor's office and find out I got puffy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, nigga, what you got? Nigga, I got puffy. I'm just, I'm still taking medication for my Biggie Smalls. This is fucked up. What you got is ludicrous, man. I got that too. Shit. <laughs> Messed up that SARS thing, man. Crazy. California, y'all are nuts too, man. Y'all got a y'all got an action hero running for governor, man. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah, Arnold running, you know. Larry Flint, the king of porn, is running. Gary Coleman is running. And their whole excuse for, to get people to vote for him is like, hey, we don't need the money. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> Gary Coleman need the fucking money. <laughs> Wasn't that nigga a security guard at a fucking mall two months ago? Shit. I can't trust Gary with the tax revenue. Hey, Gary, what happened to money? What you talking about, Willis? Nah, no, my fucking hand. What the fucking answer I was looking for? Person I really want to see win is Larry Flint. I want to see the king of porn win, be the governor. I just want to see him be the governor, you know? Because after all this politics, all this scandal in politics, at least you ain't got to worry about a sex scandal. You know what I'm saying? If you, get, if, you caught, get, if you catch Larry Flint getting his dick sucked in the office, who you going to tell? The press? He invite the press to come watch that shit. You can't go in there with your little VHS. Hey, man, look, I got the, I got the governor right here getting his dick sucked right here on tape. Like, tape, motherfucker, I got the DVD. What the fuck is wrong with you? You need to upgrade your shit. 